Sixth grade, module two, lesson four, classwork. Opening exercise. Write at least three equivalent fractions for each fraction below. So for two thirds, remember to make an equivalent fraction, we can either draw a model. So if I have two thirds and I wanna make an equivalent fraction, I could just turn it into, before we had two thirds and then when I separated it now I have one two three four six so I can keep doing that and separating it or I can just multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number so for example to get from two thirds to four six we multiplied by two over two if I want to get another one I can multiply by three over three so 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. So 6 ninths is an equivalent fraction. If I want another one, I can multiply them both by 4. So 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 4 is 12. So 8 twelfths is another equivalent fraction. For 10 twelfths, we can do the same thing. So let's just multiply by 2 over 2. So 10 times 2 is 20. 12 times 2 is 24, so 20 24 fourths. Let's multiply by 3. 10 times 3 is 30. 12 times 3 is 36. Now let's multiply by 4. 10 times 4 is 40. 12 times 4 is 48. So there are three equivalent fractions. We also could have reduced it because we can divide both 10 and 12 by 2 and we will get 5 sixths. So there's another one. Example one, Molly has one and three eighths cups of strawberries. She needs three eighths cup of strawberries to make one batch of muffins. How many batches can Molly make? Use a model to support your answer. All right, so she has one and three eighths. And so what we're doing is one and three eighths divided by three eighths. So let's find one and three eighths. I'm going to split this into eighths. And I have one whole and three eighths. So there's one and three eighths, and now I need to separate it into groups of three eighths. So there's one group of three eighths, there's another group of three eighths. Combine these three, and then I have another group, but there's only two of them out of the three that are shaded in. So my answer would be three and two thirds. So Molly could make three and two thirds batches of muffins. Example two, Molly's friend Xavier also has 11 eighths cups of strawberries. He needs three fourths cup of strawberries to make a batch of tarts. How many batches can he make? Draw a model to support your solution. Okay, so he has 11 eighths, but this time we need to split it into three fourths cups. Now the problem here is that they don't have the same denominator. So just like when we were adding and subtracting fractions back in fourth grade, or fifth grade when we had to find equivalent fractions or common denominators, we need to do the same thing here. So the good news is we already know how to do that. So we need to remember we can list the multiples for the two denominators that we have. So we have eight and four. Now list the multiples. I'll list like three or four. Eight, 16, 24, 32, four, eight, 12, 16, and then I find the least common multiple, which is 8. So I can leave 11 eighths alone. I just need to change 3 fourths into eighths. So 3 fourths into eighths. 4 times 2 is 8, so 3 times 2 is 6. So we have 11 eighths divided by 6 eighths. And now we can draw our model. So we're going to have 11 eighths.
and I'll shade in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we're going to put them into groups of six eighths. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six eighths right there. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our next group of six. But we only have five out of the six shaded. So this would be equal to one and five sixths batches. Find the quotient of six eighths divided by two eighths. Use a model to show your answer. So this already has a common denominator, so we can just draw our model. We have six eighths divided into groups of two eighths. So there's one two eighth, another group, and another group, so this is equal to three. Example four, find the quotient three-fourths divided by two-thirds. Use a model to show your answer. So here we don't have a common denominator. So let's, let's, let's list the multiples of four and three. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 20, 24, three, six, nine, 12, 15. So I see the first one that they have in common, the least common multiple is 12. So I'm gonna take 3 fourths and make it into twelfths, and then I'm going to take 2 thirds and turn it into twelfths. So four times three is 12, which means we need to do three times three is nine. Three times four is 12, so two times four is eight. So we have nine twelfths divided by eight twelfths. I'm going to draw my model. And I'll shade in not 9 twelfths. Okay, so if I had one group of, we're splitting into 8 twelfths, so one group I can get out. One and then if I had one another group of eight, one, two, three, four. Let's pretend there's another one. And then okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be our next group. But we only have one shaded in out of the eight. So we get one and one eighth. Number one, six halves divided by three fourths. Okay, so we don't have a common denominator. So I'm gonna list the multiples for two and four. And so I already see that I can use four. So I'm just gonna stop right there. So I can leave three fourths alone. I just need to change six halves into fourths. Two times two is four, six times two is 12. So we get 12 fourths, which is actually equal to three. So I'm gonna make one, two, three, and then split them into fourths. and just shade them all in. Okay, now I need to split it into groups of three-fourths. So there's one group, there's two groups, three groups, four groups. So it works out evenly to be four. Number two, 
three two-thirds divided by two-fifths. So let's find our common denominator for three and five. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So I see fifteen is our least common multiple and it will be our common denominator. So two thirds is equal to how many fifteenths? Multiply by five to get ten fifteenths and two fifths is equal to times three six fifteenths. So we have ten fifteenths divided by six fifteenths. Okay, that's 15. Let's shade in 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're going to separate it into groups of six. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then my next group of one, two, three, four, five, six would be right here. And we have one and then four out of six shaded. So we get one and four sixths, which we could reduce to one and two thirds. Number three, seven eighths divided by one half. Let's find our common denominator, eight and two. I like to start with the smaller number because sometimes you might run into the bigger number, which we did, eight. So we can leave seven eighths alone. One half is equal to times four, times four is equal to four eighths. So we have seven eighths divided by four eighths. We'll split it into eighths and shade in seven of them. And then split it into groups of four eighths. So there's one group of four eighths. The next group, one, two, three, four, we have three shaded out of the four, so this is equal to one and three fourths. Number four, three fifths divided by one fourth. So again, we need to find a common denominator for five and four. And there it is, 20. So let's make 3 fifths into 20 fifths times 4 times 4 would get us 12 20 fifths. And 1 fourth times 5 times 5 would get us 5 20 fifths. So 12 20 fifths divided by 5 20 fifths. I'll make a big tape diagram because it's 20 fifths. Hopefully that's 20. All right, so we have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we're gonna divide by five, in groups of five. So here's one, two, three, four, five. It's one group. One, two, three, four, five. There's another group. One, two, three, four, five. So here we only have two shaded out of five. So we get two holes and two fifteenths. Or not two fifteenths, sorry. Two out of five. There's one, two, three, four, five. So two and two 
And I think I actually made this 21, so let me erase one of these. Didn't matter in the long run for our answer. Okay. Number five, five fourths divided by one third. Let's find our common denominator. Did we find one yet? Yep, 12. So 5 fourths is equal to 15 twelfths. And 1 third is equal to 3 times 4 is 12, so 1 times 4 is 4 twelfths. We have 15 twelfths divided by 4 twelfths. So 15 twelfths would be 1 and 3 twelfths. So I'm going to need two tape diagrams here. One, two, and I'm going to split them both into twelfths. And then I'm going to shade in fifteen twelfths. So there's twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen twelfths. Now I need to split it into groups of four. So we have four twelfths. So one, two, three, four. There's one. One, two, three, four. Makes two. One, two, three, four. Is three. And one, two, three, four. Here we have three shaded out of four. So we get three and three fourths.